Okay, to make the peanuts sauce, get a small saucepan, put it on a fairly low um, heat itself, um, so that the uh, peanut butter is not going to burn. Just let it warm up a little bit, and then add two big spoonful of peanut butter in. There's no need to add oil because peanut butter itself is already um, got enough oil in it. Um, that's why you actually need to be careful not to eat too much of it because it can be quite fattening. So you wait for that to melt a little bit. And then you add the garlic in. So mix them in. Now be careful that you don't burn the peanut butter because you know heat. Sometimes you've got too much heat and 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 it can burn very quickly. So adjust it as you go along. Um, add some brown sugar. In this I'll probably add about two and a half. And then just mix them in. Go into a bowl itself. So I say, I add some Tabasco, just a couple drops. A little bit of soy sauce, light soy sauce. So, just a little bit, you can see. Quickly mix it in. Now, now we add water. It can be tap water, but I always have a jar of uh, water, cold water, in the kitchen that actually come off the uh, kettle. So when you actually finish boiling your drink, um, your tea and coffee and things, you sometimes have some leftover in the kettle, and I'll put it into a jar and use it for cold water. Um, it's better than actually drinking straight out of the tap because those are treated. And much better to drink. Now you see, it started to make to uh, go into a consistency of a, a much lighter paste, and you also see the crunchy bit. So if you don't like having crunchy bits um, as peanut sauce, use the smooth ones. That's some more. Uh, it goes into a much smoother paste now, but it's still not enough. But don't put too much water in at one go because it will um, make it quite hard to um, to mix them all in quickly. Um, last thing you want is to have some burnt because it's too hot and some actually not. Um, you see, it's actually making into a smoother paste. So I just add another dollop of water now that goes into quite a smooth liquid now so now we add some brown ginger I like ginger and garlic, you probably know if you've seen my other demo. Um, I'll add quite a bit of this in.
As you see, the as the ginger mixed in and you keep on stirring it, don't forget to stir it because otherwise it get burned. You can feel the consistency changes. Now, if you feel that it gets too lumpy because your spoon can't move, or or it get too thick, um, you can always add some water. It's not a problem at all, and. And it will just get mixed in and boiled up and things like that, so that will be fine. Now, every cook will tell you that you actually need to taste. You can't cook anything without tasting it. So what I do, I use my finger in this case, but normally you have you use a spoon um, to actually do the tasting. So I just lick a little bit. Okay got enough ginger, not enough soy sauce, so i add a little bit more. Not enough Tabasco to my taste, so i add a bit more, and also sugar. Mix it all in again. Turn the heat up a bit. And then as it boils up slightly, you can see it start bubbling. Then it's done. So it's quite simple. Now, don't forget at all time when you cook, make sure you taste them, so that the taste doesn't suddenly run away and you don't find your food too salty, too sweet, too chilly, or whatever. While you're cooking it, you have the chance to remedy it. Okay.